Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Good evening. Hey, how are you? How are fine. you, everyone? Thanks. You're fine? Yes. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Fine. This Wednesday. You're fine? Yes. Welcome, Angelica. We have Veronica Cepeda, Juan Antonio, Veronica Cecilia. Who else we have? Thank you. Who else we have? Welcome, welcome. Then we have Veronica Alegría. Who else Hello, we have? good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Maria de Los Angeles, Jessica Esmeralda, Christian Briseño, Jonathan Adonai, Luz Garcia, Jensi Alexandra, Mauricio, welcome, Catherine Rebecca, Lenin Monterrosa, Roxana Guadalupe. Hi. Hey, welcome. Edith Lorena is connecting. Welcome, guys. Welcome to one more session. Joaquin, welcome to your session. We almost finished with the week, right? The time flies. El tiempo vuela, right? The time flies. It goes very, very fast. Imagine we soon are going to have Christmas. It happens very, very quickly this time. Okay, let's continue. Remember yesterday, we saw the use about there is and there are. And we were referring to existency as in singular and also the plural form. And I have here a short exercise. In the one, we are going to solve it like this. It says, write each sentence a different way. Then practice with the partner. And we got the example here. Number one, I don't have a table in the bedroom. This is one form, right? Like to use with the verb have, but also we can use with existency to use. There's no table in the bedroom. Now let's see number two. I have some chairs in the kitchen, which will be another possibility. Veronica Alegría? What's another possibility using there is or there are? Um, there are, there are uh -huh. no any chairs in the kitchen. There are, I'm sorry? There are uh -huh. adding any chairs in the kitchen. Uh, in this case, it's affirmative. Use affirmative. Uh, no, because it says, there I are have some chairs. chairs in the kitchen. That is correct. Excellent. Yes. There are some. There are some chairs in the kitchen. So it's like a two forms. Two forms to say. It's like, it's possible to use it like this. To say, I have some chairs in the kitchen. And the other form, it will be, there are some chairs in the kitchen. That is in the affirmative manner. That's great, thank you. Angelica Rodriguez, what about number three? It says, I have a stove in the kitchen. This is affirmative and for singular. What is the other possibility? Yes, Angelica? It's singular. So it's only one. Singular. Remember that there are is for plural. And there is is for singular. Has? There is, right? Uh -huh. There is. Good hey. night. Hey, good evening, Rene. Welcome. How are Hi, you? Yeah. Thank you. So you can use there's. There is. The, there ah, is. Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. And to identify singular, you use a. Uh -huh. So you can say there's a or there is. Yeah, there the is. contraction or the complete manner. So it would oh. be like this. Mm -hmm. I okay. have a stove in the kitchen or. There's a stove in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you. Continue then, Jessica Esmeralda. 
We have number four. We have the number. Number four, it will be, I don't have a refrigerator. They have the, they have the, uh, I don't have a refrigerator. This is negative and it's singular. It's singular. It's singular. So you need to use the resort there are. What will be the correct option? No sé. <laughs> this is similar than this one, right? Like in number one, it says, I don't have a table in the bedroom. So you can use, there's no table. There Same is no. here. Uh -huh. there, is Say no. there is no refrigerator. I don't have a refrigerator or there's no refrigerator. So the two options are valid. The two manners the, are correct. The refrigerator. Refrigerator, correct. Okay. Now, yes, got it. Number five, Rene, continue. Number five says, I don't have curtains on the windows. I don't have curtains, curtains on the windows. On the windows. This is affirmative mm. or negative? You are going ah, to it's use... Negative. Yeah, it's negative. It's uh negative. -huh. Remember yesterday yeah. we studied about the reason there are? Existency? El verbo haber? There is for singular and there are for plural, but we have affirmative and also negative. There's, there's. There's, it will be for singular, right? But here it says plural because it's curtains. I don't have curtains on the windows. What is the other option? No, 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 is with number five, yes. Uh, the other there option. Are, there are not. Aha, uh -huh, good window. one. Aha, uh -huh. there aren't. There, there aren't. aren't. Very good. Coating of the window. Very good, yes. And what about to put emphasis? Do you remember to put emphasis? What can we use? There aren't? There aren't. Some or any? Any. Any, perfect. Any is for negative and some is for yes. affirmative. Yeah, that's correct. There aren't any curtains on the windows. So we have two options there, right, to say it. What okay. about number six? Let's continue. Christian Briseño, please. Christian? El aviso que va oh, saliendo yes. del trabajo. Yes, it's true. Thank you. Okay. Just let me write. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, hi, Christian and Catherine Rebecca. Okay. okay. Now let's continue here then. What about number six? Ibis. Hey, Ibis, welcome. Ibis, can you listen to us? No? Edith? Edith Lorena? Hello, teacher. Hello, okay. good evening, welcome. Good evening. Uh, I don't have any rocks. Uh, sería... Igual que la anterior, there aren't any rocks on the floor. Excellent, that's correct, because we have negative and it's plural. That's all right. There aren't any rocks. That's correct. There aren't any rocks on the floor. Really good job, guys. Nice. Okay. Now let's continue. We're going to read them. Veronica Cepeda, help us, please. You are going to read number one. I don't have a table in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's no table in the bedroom. 
Thank you very much. Very good job. Nice. Miguel Antonio, welcome. Good Thank to you. Be here. Hello, how are you? You good? I'm fine. You're fine? Excellent. Let's yes. read number two, please. I have. I have I have some shares in the kitchen. The other option? There are some? There are some shares in the kitchen. Really good job. Thank you. Ibis. Hi, Ibis. Hi, teacher. Hey, good how night. are you? Good evening. Welcome. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Good You're night. Good. good evening. Okay. All right. What number three? Let's read it, please. Okay. I have okay. I have a, a stove in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Or? There is a... There there's? Is a, there, ah, perdón, there, there's. Contraction? There's. There's, uh -huh. there's a stove in the kitchen. Very good. Thank you. Rene, continue. Number four. I don't, I don't have a refrigerator. Refrigerator. The refrigerator. Very good. Yes. La, la pregunta que me hizo del 5 era que yo tenía que, por ejemplo, ahí dice en negativo, yo uh -huh. no tengo esquinas en la ventana. Ay, exactly. But transform. Es que, como decirlo de otra manera. Tenía que decirlo, yo sí tengo cortinas o... Eh, en o el caso de acá... Eh, o hay no cortinas. Sé. Hay cortinas, correcto. Hay cortinas en las ventanas. Ajá. Como Ay. la forma, el modelo que nos da acá... Es yo tengo o no tengo, con el sí, verbo ah, tener, have. Pero también lo podemos era, utilizar, there is or there are. There is, aren't any. No, there are, aren't any. There aren't any. any. There, uh -huh. there is, Because it's negative. And it's plural. Mm, ah, pero ya pasarlo al, al, al que sí hay, sería... It's there aren't. There, there aren't there any. Is any. Uh -huh. aren't. There, there aren't. Because it's plural. It's plural mm. form. Mm -hmm. So with the verb of possession, you have the verb have. I don't have. So what about number four? In number four, you have, I don't have a refrigerator. Uh, what is the um, next part? Rene, repeat there, it, please. There's there, no? There's no <laughs> refrigerator. Refrigerator, that's correct. Nice one, thanks. Gen C? Jen C, are you present? Sí. Yes, okay. Can you read number five, please? Es, 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 I don't have curtains. Curtains? Curtains on the windows. On the windows? There, or? On the windows, there are any. Any? Any? Curtains? <coughs> curtains? Thanks on the windows. On the windows. Very good. Thank you. Oscar. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? Good evening. Uh, how, uh, uh, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. We are reading this part. Number six, please. Can you read it? Hasta ahorita estamos este, iniciando porque no me agarraba la plataforma. Oh, okay. You didn't have connection then. Sí, sí, sí. All right. So let's read this part, please. Let's read it. Number six. I don't have any rocks on the floor. Oscar, are you there? Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's read it, please. Read it. Number six. I uh, don't have. I don't have any, any rules. Any rocks. Any rows. Any rows on the floor. On the floor. Floor. On the floor, on the floor. Floor, like with O, floor. Floor. Floor, floor, with O, con la O, floor. On floor, That's floor. That's right, good one. Mm -hmm. So what is the other option that we have? There aren't any rocks on the floor. Let's read the other part, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next part. There aren't, there aren't any Rules on the floor. Any rocks on the floor. Any rocks on the floor. Very good job. Nice one, guys. Okay. Now we have this exercise. Now we have other from the platform. That we have it here. 
Okay. We have this exercise. It says, I have some chairs in the kitchen. What will be the best option here? There are no chairs. There's a chair. There are some chairs or there's no chairs. What option would be? Uh -huh. What option? Which one do you think? There are some. There are some, right? Because it's affirmative and it's plural. There are some chairs in the kitchen. That's one, right? So we have this one here. Now, let's check the other part. Then we have a video. We're going to watch it here. And this one is called to spatial houses. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in... No problem with the video? No problem. No? Okay. And in no reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. All right, so we could hear and also see about two different houses. In the one, they have different characteristics, right? And they have different elements, different furniture here. Let's see, we're going to try to read it here. Let's start here. It says, two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero's love set. So what do you think about Mrs. Nero's house? What characteristics does it have? Can you mention some characteristic details? Colorful paintings. Colorful paintings, what else? Many colors. It has many colors, yes. What colors do you remember? Purple, pink, green. Purple, pink. pink. Purple, what color is the, the floor? What color is the floor? Pink. It's pink, pink right? Excellent. Pink. Also, it says that it has a porch. This is the porch. The porch is como el corredor, right? Okay. It's like this part where you can put the chairs, right? That's the porch. What else? What else can you remember about it? What about the books? It says that she has many books, right? A big and colorful quantity. painting. Colorful painting. Mm -hmm. Why is Mrs. Nero's famous? Why? Why is she famous? She 
She's a writer. Excellent. That's correct. She's a writer. That's good. Where does she live? <clears throat> San Antonio. In San Antonio, Texas. That's correct. What is the color of the house? When you go and see the front part of the house, what color is it? Purple. It's purple. Excellent. Purple. Very good job. Nice. Okay. What about the next reading? It says, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Oh. Hogan's is this. Es como okay. una choza, choza hecha de tierra, okay. algunas hechas de, de madera también. So they yeah. are Hogan's. Hogan's. Do okay. you remember Hog Hogan's? No. No? It was a cartoon, era una caricatura. Ah, it yes. was a man very strong, era muy fuerte. Hog ah. Hogan's. <laughs> it was a cartoon, but also sacaron una caricatura, ¿verdad? Pero antes era sí. un luchador también. Ah, okay. It was a real fighter, era un luchador real. Como de la lucha libre. So, su apellido ah, era Hogan. Sí, 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 cierto. Remember? Un rubio. Yes, correct. And also the mustache. Sí. O sea, el bigote, right? The mustache was blonde. Sí. <laughs> so that he was very strong man. That was Paul Hogan. Yes. So era said, de la WF. It was, right? Yes, I think it was, the, the, it was uh, the same period of time on La Roca, right? Okay. Sí. Or different. Era de una época diferente, no, la roca. Eh, mucho más. Yes, right. Sí, yo estaba bien chiquito, era un niño de unos seis años. Cuando salía esto, como, eso fue allá por el 90, 90, 91. In the 90s. Y yo estaba uh, acompañado de, de, otra, de, otro, de una banda de luchadores, como el Capitán Urbano. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so that was how Hogan was very, very, very popular. He was very, very popular. Really popular, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. So it says mm -hmm. here that most people stay in hotels. The majority of the persons stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson a teacher from Arizona invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two bedrooms on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. So now tell me about, about this woman's house or her Hogan, about Lorraine Nelson. What characteristics does the Hogan have? She's only three, three chairs. chairs two beds bed, on the floor. floor. Mm -hmm. It has three chairs, two mm -hmm. beds on the floor. So it has two. And it says also a wood burning stove. Wood burning stove es una cocina, eh, pero en la que se, es para quemar leña, para quemar okay. trozos de leña. Rústico. That's a wood burning stove, like to keep warm, para mantenerse tibio, calentito, right? So what else? What else is a characteristic of the Hogan? Is it small? Is it big? What do you think? It's very small. It's very small, right? It's totally different than the normal houses. So many people as tourists, they can visit this place and maybe they can stay or, or sleep there. They substitute the hotel. Because this one is very different, different house, different environment here. So where does Lorraine live? In Arizona. Arizona. In Arizona, that's correct. So this house is from a, normally from Navajos. Have you heard about Navajos? Oh, no, no. Have you heard about the tribe of Navajos? Indian Navajos. Exactly. So normally they have this type of houses, the Navajos. Okay. Right, okay. Now, we got the exercise here, and you have to select. You got to select. Like, let's see one of them. Sandra Cisneros' house, there is a? For with um, pink flower. Ah, okay. There is a porch 
with the pink floor. Yeah, that's good. A porch with a pink floor. And the rest, you have to put them, right? Because you have different things, different elements that the house and in the platform appears describing the two types of the house. Okay, okay let's go ahead then. Now we finish with that section. We'll continue with another one. This one is very interesting. This one, it has to do with occupations and professions. And the name of section three is what do you do? What we investigate with what do you do? What's your profession? What's your yeah, occupation? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. ¿A qué te dedicas? ¿Qué haces? What do you use your time for? What's your profession? What's your occupation? And we okay. here have different. For example, what do you think that he is? What does actor. he do? He's yeah. an actor. Orlando Bloom, he's an actor. actor. He's an actor. He's an actor, excellent. What about the second one? Luis Miguel, he's very popular. A he's a singer. He's a singer, singer. He's a singer. excellent. Singer. What about this one? Jo Jon Sir. Uh, she's a musician. A, a, a musician. A musician. A musician. <laughs> Very good. A musician. What about Martha? What does she's she a soccer she's player. She's a athlete. She's an athlete, she's an athlete, athlete in general, and she she's plays soccer. Yeah. Play soccer. Excellent. That's good. She's an athlete. Uh -huh. She's an athlete. Good. Okay. We have other professions, other occupations. We have a teacher, we have a student, an architect, a musician, an athlete, an, an actor, athlete. or an actress also, right? Okay. Can be an actor in general, but for a woman, it's an actress. For a man, an actor. Here we have an artist, a banker, a banker, like in Banco Cuscatla, we have Banco Agricola, different, right? The persons are doing business there, they are bankers. A singer, a flight attendant. What's a flight attendant? At the short That's customer no. service. Uh, uh, yes. Uh -huh. They have different manners, right, to call it. As a, as a fat asistente de vuelo asistente de vuelo they call sobrecargo asama, also asapata, right sobrecargo sobrecargo okay. they have different manners to call it that they provide the same service okay do you have a new one can you mention other professions please sure. mention others uh, yes. excuse me i wanna uh, wanna question i have a question sí Cuando dijo que en, en el número cuatro con respecto a, 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 a an actor, dijo. An actor is an actor. Man. Ah, ah, es para hombre. Uh -huh. y, y para dama, dijo, ¿para qué es? Es an actress. No. Ah. An tiene actor. el mismo nombre, actor para femenino y masculino. Mm -hmm. y What happened is that actor is for general. Ah. It's like a general manner. But if you want to specify the gender, cuando queremos especificar como el género, you say una actriz, you say an actress. But uh, for the man, is an actor. She is an actor. She is an actress. So there are some professions that are general, but you can divide in the moment to specify what is the gender, if it's he or she. Igual a atleta. Athlete. No, the athlete uh -huh. is the same. You have, she is an athlete, he is an athlete. Este es general. Esta se utiliza para ambos. It's like singer. She is a singer, he is a singer. Okay. An artist is the same. Yes. Welcome. Okay, let's go ahead and with the next part. Now we're going to watch our video. Thank <laughs> you. 
This one is about just vocabulary and activities. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night writes tickets. Now we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. All right. So we saw some other, right, occupations and professions there. Now we're going to verify this. We have activities. We also have places. And we can mention, like, uh, the professions or the occupations. For example, here, in the different activities, we have wears a uniform, sits um, all day, a nurse, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets, and then we have the complements here. But also we have the places, different places where the profession or the person can work in a hospital, in an office, mm -hmm. in a store, in a hotel. Mm -hmm. Let's mention other places. Tell me other places, please. What other, uh, other places can a person work? For example, a nurse works in a hospital. Ah, very good. In a hospital. Okay, that's good. What else? Any other places? At the airport, for example? Yes. Other places that we can include. In the park. In uh, the park, yes. People sometimes work in the park. What else? Uh, fly a tender. A restaurant. In a airplane. 
At the airplane, uh, that's good. On the airplane, correct. So let's put on the airplane. At the airport. Where? Where else? In a bar? Some people work in a bar if they are like a bartender, for example. Mm. In a bar. A school, university. Very good. At school. At the university. At the academy. A restaurant. At the restaurant. Very good. Yes. At the restaurant. At the hotel. Yeah, that's great. At the hotel. Excellent. One more place. In a mall. At the that's park. True. Yes. At the mall. At, at home. At home. Yes, it's true. Why not? At home. On the park. At the, the supermarket. Park. At the supermarket. So you see, mm -hmm. we have different places that we can also include here. Now, let's give more examples to complete. Let's connect the ideas. It says, a teacher works in a school. A teacher stands all day. Normally, right? Normally, a teacher stands all day. What is a stands all day? Parado todo el día. Teacher uh -huh. está parado, parado todo el día. día. Normally, okay. right? When there are presential classes, in common classes, right? But in virtual mm -hmm. classes, it's necessary to be like a sitting all day. What about a musician? It says a musician plays a musical instrument. Normally, right? Mm -hmm. What else can you tell me about a musician? What else can we include? Um, a musician? A musician. I'm sorry? A musician? Mm -hmm. uh, que ensaya todo el día. Ah, okay. Practices. In the studio. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Practices in the studio. Ah, okay. This is on the studio. In the studio. Okay. So that is one characteristic, right, of a musician. What about, what can you tell me about a doctor? Oh, no. Doctor, we have the example here. What can you tell me about, okay. let me see... A singer. A singer. A theatre. Ah, okay. A singer works on the stage. En el escenario. Works on the stage. Mm -hmm. What else? What else can we say about the singer? También uh, de estudio. Ajá. Grabando en el estudio. Ah, records music. Ajá. Uh -huh. A singer records music. Eh, it can be at the studio, in the studio. All day. All day. Uh -huh, that's good. All day. Excellent. That's nice. What about a police officer? What can you tell me about a police officer? In the street. Works on the street? Ah, okay. Works on the street. Gives tickets, right? A police officer gives tickets. Las multas, and they get the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you pass the red light. So they are watching that, right? Gives tickets, writes tickets also. It can be a police officer. Also, it can be that works hard, right? Trabaja duro, works hard. work on the street, works hard. What about, what can you tell me about a nurse? A nurse. Christian, what nurse. can you tell me hospital. about a nurse? Works, works at the hospital? Uh -huh. work can work at the, the clinic hospital. also, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Works? Works in the clinic. Uh -huh. 
works in in, in a clinic. Uh -huh. In a clinic. Extends all day. It's true. Yeah, they extend all and day. Definitely. Uh -huh. Yes. A nurse stands all day. All right. Good one. We got this one here. In different places. And also different activities where they develop their job. Now, let's repeat these forms. Let's see. Gabriela, Abigail, we're going to repeat them. A teacher works in a school. A teacher works in a school. Thank you. Ana Beatriz, are you present? Teacher present. Ana. Ana Beatriz. Or Ada. Yes. Is that Ada? Oh, okay, Ada. <laughs> yes, present. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Sorry. Okay. I don't listen, but I, I'm here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. That's good. Let's see. Jensi, Jensi, can you repeat it, please? A teacher stands all day. Um, a teacher stands all day. All day. Very good. Miguel Antonio, a musician plays a musical instrument. A musician plays a musical instrument. Good one. Musician. 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 Thank you. Fatima Araujo, a singer works on the stage. Fatima? A singer works on the stage. On the stage. On the stage. Thank you. Ana Beatriz, are you there? Are you present? Yes. Hi, Anna. Okay, let's repeat this one, please. A singer records music at the studio all day. A singer records music at the studio all day. Excellent. Thank you. Continue. Angelica Rodriguez, are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's repeat this one. A police officer works on the street. <laughs> Se le escucha como con interferencia, Angélica. Can you repeat it, please? A police officer works on the street. Police, police officer works on the street. Good one. Okay, el audio creo que le está fallando un poquito. Jessica is Aha, uh -huh, she has problem with the audio. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, thank you. Jonathan, can you continue? A police officer works hard. <clears throat> Buenas noches, police teacher. officer works hard. Thank you, very good. Hey, good evening, Jessica. Let's continue Thanks. here. A musician practices in the studio. Um, musician, museum, musician, mu, mu, musician, 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 practices in the, in the studio. In the studio, <laughs> correct. Thank you, Luz Garcia. A nurse works in a clinic. A nurse works in a clinic. Thank you, Roxana Guadalupe. A nurse stands all day. <clears throat> and I understand all day. Excellent, thank you. If you observe here, we have the verb. The verb in all of the forms they have s form. S. See? Excellent. You have s. You say a teacher works. A teacher stands. A musician plays. A singer works. A singer records. Police officer works. Police officer works. A musician practices. A nurse works. A nurse stands. Why? Because it's simple present. Siempre que sea simple present y tercera persona singular, so he, she, and it, you need to include the S to the verb. Questions about this? <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
No questions? Stage. Escenario. Stage. Stage. Mm -hmm. That's the stage. Nurse, stands old. nurse. Nurse means enfermera. Una enfermera pasa de pie todo el día. A nurse stands all day. <coughs> pasa parada todo el día. Ajá. Entonces pasa de pie todo el día. Hello? Es un stance. Stance. Es, pa es pasar de pie. Ponerse de pie, estar parado. That's stance. Sería, digamos, un verbo también. It's an action, correct. Es un verbo, pero que me describe el estado del cuerpo. Contrario a sit. De pie. Uh -huh. Stands. Estar de pie. Pararse. You can stand in front of the house. Stand, uh, for example, on the floor, on the grass, on the rock, on the sofa. Mm -hmm. So it's an action. Okay. Right? You're welcome. Okay, we need to pass the list, guys. So let me know if you are present, please. Okay. All right, Ada said, told me that she's present. I remember she has problems with the audio. Present, teacher. Yes, you are present, yes. Thank you. Ana Beatriz? Thank you. Ana Beatriz? Ana Hi. Beatriz? Hi. Yes. All right. Angélica María. Angélica María. Angélica. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Cristian Daniel. I'm here. Thank you, Cristian. Edith Lorena. Edith Present. Lorena. Thank Present. you, Edith. Fatima Yesenia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Ibis Arely. Uh, present teacher. Thank you so much. Jessica Saray. Present. Thank you, Jessica. Joaquín Jesús. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Adonai. Present teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you, Catherine Rebecca. Oh, Catherine, Rebecca, she told me, listener, yes. Kevin Dice. Orlando, thank Dice, you. Dice, eh, Angelica dice que tiene problemas con su audio, me mm -hmm. parece que no le puso, no le puedo decir. Teacher, teacher. Yes, thank you. Hola. Thank you very much, Dice. yes. 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 Yes, Catherine, Rebecca, sí. thank, thank you, Catherine. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Kevin Orlando, are you present? Kevin Orlando? Liliana Patricia? Liliana Patricia? Lenin. Hello, thank you, Liliana. Lenin. I'm sorry, let me check. Angelica. Angelica. Okay, thank you, okay. thank you, Angelica. Thank you, gracias. Thank you. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. No. Ya puedes presente en el, en el chat. Ah, okay, thank you. Y aquí no, no puedo ver el chat porque tengo la lista. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, then we have Luz Margel. Present. Thank you, Luz. Maria de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. I remember I saw Mauricio connected. 
Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Um, present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you, Roxana Guadalupe. Roxana Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Verónica Marisela. Present teacher. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Jensi. Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Present. Thank you, Jessica. And Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. No? Okay. Let's continue then, guys. We got learning. Okay. Check here. Give me a minute. Learning is here. Okay. Okay, so we are in these cases, right? To say that the simple present, we have the third person form. Now, let's do a practice here. Let's check. We have here that she's a scientist. So what's her job? The form will be, she's a scientist. She's a scientist. 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 What about the next one? What's his job? He's pilot. He's a, he's a pilot. Huh? He's a pilot. He's a pilot. Good. Now let's answer about you. What's your job? In my he's case, a I'm a teacher, right? But now you tell me. I'm a teacher. What about you? Tell me, what's your job? Juan Antonio, what's your job? Juan Antonio, are you there? I'm a, I am a commercial. Ah, good, I'm a merchant. I'm a merchant. Comerciante. I'm a merchant. Uh huh. That's very good. Nice. Now, let's see what about Jessica? Jessica Franco. What's your job? Um, mi trabajo. Uh huh. What's your occupation or profession? Cuidadora of de la tercera edad. Ah, okay. I'm a healthcare. A health care taker. Oh. Cuidadora de la salud, pero de la tercera edad. So you can also say I'm an elderly like this. I'm an elderly. Health taker. Because you take care of the elderly. Elderly son de la tercera edad. I'm an elderly health caretaker. Right? That's good. That's an important occupation, right? And not very easy. Not tan fácil, right? It's difficult. <laughs> what about you? Eh, Veronica oh. Cepeda? I'm a dentist. I'm a dentist. Dentist. <laughs> A dentist. Very good. Now tell me, Lenin, what's your job? Lenin, are you there? Mauricio? 
Hello. si tenía problemas con mi corazón, Oh, no escucho yes, nada it's true. y se me, me saca. Yes. You have problems, right? Le, la saca de, de, de la plataforma. Vamos a, Sí, a, de hecho, a notificar. la escucho robótica, pero ya me salí varias veces. Ajá. Ok. Voy a notificar eso, oye, para que, que vean que, cuál es el problema, que nos verifiquen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Roxana, what about you? Roxana? My occupation is a student. I'm very good. I'm a student. Right. Thank you. Ada, what about you? What's your job? Can you listen, Ada? Teacher, um, I am a lash artist. A lash artist. Ah, okay. A lash artist. Yes? Yes. So you work yes. in a beauty salon? Yes. Right? I, I have a salon. Ah, oh, interesting. So you are a businesswoman. Yes. I'm a businesswoman. Yes. You see? It's a difficult job. I imagine. Yes, because you have to organize different things. You have to prepare everything with the employees, right? So it's not easy. Yes. I mean, all of no. the jobs, right? They no, have certain. That's good. Businesswoman. All right. Thank uh, you. <laughs> yes, you're a good <laughs> Let's see, Carlos Arturo, what's your job? I am a software engineer. I am a? Software engineer. Ah, interesting too, a software engineer. Engineer. Also, engineers are difficult, right? Because ooh, you have a lot of formulas, things <laughs> right to make construction of things you make softwares right so that's good interesting yes. job yes. that's right thank you okay now okay. look at that here we have different options right or different occupations okay. we have the professions that you do and every profession they have also their difficult thing but also it has a reward because if you enjoy, if you love your job, so it's very good because you love it. You really, really love it. Nice. Okay, now let's go ahead here. We got, remember the exercise on the platform here. We got three professionals. <clears throat> you got the picture. The first one, number one. A, what's his job? He's a receptionist, right? We got number one. Remember, receptionist is not only a woman, but it's possible that it's also a man. So he is a receptionist or he's a receptionist. In number two, what's her job? She's a doctor. We we'll get here, number two, a doctor. And number three, what's her job? She's a nurse. So we got a lot of professions here, different, different professions here. Now, let me see. Catherine, Rebecca, what's your job? Catherine, Rebecca? Hola, teacher. Este, fíjate que me acabo Hello. de conectar Hello. de nuevo, que se me desconectó la clase y ahorita acabo de ingresar de nuevo. Ok. okay. Ha, ha tenido problemas para conectarse. Sí, es que como venía, es que le comenté que venía viajando, sí. entonces ahorita voy sí, llegando sí. a la casa, me desconectó Ajá. y puedo volverme a conectar, hasta ahorita conecté otra vez. Mm, ok, ok. Thank you, thank, thank you, Catherine. What about, uh, let's see, Jessica Esmeralda, what's your job? Jessica Esmeralda, are you present? Present teacher. Hello, Jessica. Tell me, what's your job? Uh -huh. 
Jessica. Jonathan. Yes, teacher. Hello, Jonathan. What's your job? I'm a student. A student. Very good. That's nice. Okay, so you dedicate to study, right? Do you study at the university? Yes. Yes. What is your career? What do you study? In the University of El Salvador. Of El Salvador. Ah, that's good. It's near Metro Centro, right? Cerca de Metro Centro. Near yes, Metro yes. Centro. Okay, that's cool. All right, guys. We're going to stop here and we continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for your time, dedication. Thank, Thank you, you for your participation. Nice. Have a beautiful night. Thank Sweet you, dreams. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. Bye bye. Sweet dreams. Bye. Goodbye. Good See night. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care.